Bring forth the guillotine! Bring forth the guillotine! Bring forth the guillotine! Chips. Just got a new blade from Janta. Thank you very much, by the way, Janta. Changing the one of my old guns like and that lot, and I thought might as well show you a few bits and bobs while we do it. Um, the reason why I'm changing mine is uh, the wear that I've had on this blade, if you can see it, it's it sort of created a small gap in the middle there and not towards the ends. Now, this is an old blade, but basically what it is, oops, let's just set this back like that. Well, I've been using this side of the blade a hell of a lot more than this side of the blade. And that's all I've been cutting those magnetic tiles for the last bloody God knows two years. So that's what's probably done it as well. But with the guillotine, ends, we'll show you this end of it. It does start to wear after a while. So this is why I'm just changing this one. So I just thought, I'll quickly show you guys how I do it. Basically, you've just got all, you will have all your nuts. There, you just go and do them. Come off and fucking easy way, that's right. This, along with this part of the mechanism here, this is the weight of the machine. So, that one you're gonna put aside. I'm gonna take the blade out. Usually it goes towards the handle end and poke out through that one. Obviously lift it up while doing it. So back to there, and this one comes out. So, we I'm gonna take this quickly. Here we've got a selection of blades from old guillotines. This is a new one basically. If I take the old one off, you put them on top of each other. I don't know if you can see the wear over the period of time that it's gone. It's almost gone at an arc. So anyway, so we're gonna put the new one in. But as far as the guillotines are concerned, this is a bit I wanted to show you. You've got these two nuts here, and you've got the same the other side, and basically they are what hold the guillotines together. You basically have, if that's the bed, this part will bow on. Now these are the pillars, but if you notice, the hole there is a lot bigger than the nut that goes through them. Now these clamp on either side. They have got these adjustable bits there, but you can't fucking adjust them to save your life. So, but the holes, if you see it, are much bigger than the holes underneath. So you're basically gonna have wriggle room for adjustment when you put these on. You know, it's a big heavy machine, so over time in that, knocking on that can, either loosen it or just adjust, and what that will do, is these pillars, when they're on there, they bring this base in and outwards, with these Allen bits at the bottom here. Like I said, I've never been able to adjust them, and I've painted in, so when they're factory set, that's probably it, but, We'll get the blade on this one quickly, and then we'll uh, we'll put it on the floor. And we'll show you how to adjust it if it's rocking. So do it in there. Uh, you want to just get a couple of these ones in, hold it in place while you set the back bit up. Come on. Once you've got a couple of them in place, you can then just line these up on the back. And then 
put your washer in your locking nut if you still got them on the back. Obviously, first one to use your guns and our keys with your bad boy thingies. But I'm gonna put mine in mine because I want to bung it up later. So <laughs> Yeah, 20 some odd, well it's got to be over 20 years old this guillotine, one fresh blade in it, a denser, a set this year, I've said it before, we want to ship the, um, the shear on these. It. Two tiles, roughly thick, high. And right there, then go three on the left. And then do a few cuts and then start adjusting it from there. Let's bring them out to here to see. So, if you can see that, two Opus tiles it was, um, Neil Andrews was the one that taught me this, so, but it does make massive difference, but with today's tiles, they all make difference, see, every tile is going to cut different, so, I suppose the big bad test is going to be an 18, now, Cutting right across, we can show you at later dates with other ones like the Crane, the Gundelac, the Romus. The uh, Gundelac, the old mini mate, but we'll be uh, throughout the year, we'll start talking about all of them. First one, new blade, we. Still push a little bit hard there, but that's only because it's a lovely new blade. But if that had been an old one, that would have been a right crunch then. So I'm gonna just adjust this one a tiny bit, give it more of a shear. Ooh, she's lovely. Now that I don't know what the guillotine, uh, the blade was, but. You know, the shear on it is what makes it with these boys. But what I was thinking we can show other tips to use. If you're doing a lot of, say, cutting down your three inches or whatever, going down, if every now and then, you know, you put other bits in the side there to utilise other parts of the blade across there. If it's, you know, otherwise you'll just be wearing out one part of the blade. You can use anything to get it in there square, can't you? And just think like that, if you're doing multiple cuts, like for one of the patterns, you know, don't constantly just smash it out one end. But I've got to say, that does cut absolutely beautifully. Oh, oh, oh. But again, it's for sheer, isn't it? So even in a... Tile half a size, not to knock the bombers or anything like that, but you put the 18 in. Unfortunately, you have to use another method, it's called, and then you do cut it. So, providing you're prepared to do that, you know, on every cut, you should be all right with the rummus. But on thinner ones, it does get better. But like I said, they're just, you know, comparing that to the Gundelac. Not to say it's easy two fingers. Not to say it's easy one finger. You know, you get the build up in the back, whack that down. As long as it's on that chair. Oh. Oh, oh, 
So, uh, remember, so it's these two nuts either side of it. If you get it in there, it's got a wobble on. Undo these only a little bit because it's got a little wrap. You know, just knock it back into place if it needs to. You know, and as the blade's coming down, you can see it'll be a tight gap along there. I've had to wedge something inside my, one of mine before. So, you know, the further this way, it brings the blade forward, but you don't want to overshoot that. So, as long as it does it, as long as it passes through, you can see it, you know, and you really do get, fuck me, a new blade, this is the first new blade I've had in ages, and that is really just beautiful. Same goes, mini me. That's got a new blade in that gun, you like, and that is cutting like new. The crane one, oh, it's not fair choice. It needs a new blade before we demo on that. You've seen the Romus, but we're going to be making workstations for these cranes the same as the Gundelax, which is the same. Put this sheet on here. But these bases will be made so that when you get it, you actually get your guillotine and you pull it in, you lock it in place, put it at the backer. Your sheet will come with it if you want to use that. And that turns that, it's just like a little perfect machine, isn't it? For on site, you know, and as though, again, it's got the shear here. This is a really old one, so I think the nut that goes down on the inside of these pillars, you know, that nut does go down, but what it does do, I'll just hold it right, it goes onto like a little block which nurses the pole of the handle so every time you're going up and down on that over years that's going to wear so i think mine just needs replacing on this but again it's, it's it's so bloody old you know and you can just keep going forever and pass them down generations you see if i've lifted that up too much so just go down with it again yeah so that'll be the gun jack Bring forth the guillotine! Bring forth the guillotine!